Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Please XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Last time, we had a pretty good payday. We got 306 supplies here in our kit, 251 intel, and a good amount of Illyrium, both cores and crystals, and a good chunk of alloys. So what are you going to do with all this money? There's a lot of options. We could uh, learn how to parkour. We could increase our squad size, which is always tempting. Or we get locked and loaded to give everyone an ammo slot. Or we could unlock field officer training for even more training. All of these seem like nice options. I don't think we need to increase our squad size yet. You know, maybe I do. Ooh, we do have a bullet meister though. Blasting bullets. All of their targets hit, all of their bullets hit multiple enemies around their target. Oh, that's so expensive though. I don't want to pay that much. 240 supplies. I'm tempted to get locked and loaded because then I can make a bunch of ammunition types and give them out. I'm going to do it. All right. Because we have some good ones out and ready to go and ready to be Hello, given Canada. away. Hello, Shan. How's it going? Let me tell you. You could probably use another hell weave. That is a good piece of armor with the, uh, you know, the return attack on soldiers. I think we only need one energy core. I could be wrong. I want to get the Archon vest to see what it does someday. I think we're, we might be good on other things. Repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea Lots of options. Translate their language. Unfortunately, mm. we don't come across many linguists out here. We do need to build the infirmary at some point as well. But in one day, we'll have the shielded power core done, or power coil, which means we'll be able to put the shadow chamber in there for free. The hunter's axe is done. We, and we have it in our inventory now, which means we could upgrade it as well. We could also get a non-human soldier if we were so inclined. We'll have a sabotage done in one day. Supply drop is in four days. I really want to see that come down. You know? Let's see. Let's... we got to wait till Reynold is done training before we can go take on this air, this uh, facility. I can't word today. It's just one of them days, you know? Avengers Let's go check out this overgrown tank, course. though. I guess they were overwatering this tank or feeding it past midnight or something. Don't do that with the tanks. All right, what do we got? Sabotage, right? Oh, y'all, it's a sabotage. Yes, two additional buttons down on the Avatar project. Makes us feel good, like busting. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Nobody got hurt. Good job, Maria. And Angela, what do we got coming down the pipe next? We could go, we'll be able to do this after Reynold is done with his training as well. So lots of good things to be done there. We don't need more engineers. Trust me, we don't. Although scavenging alien loot, we do have a lot of intel here. This could be worth doing. Let's see what we can get out of this. Um, I'm going to send the same too. I, I usually end up doing this. I end up taking a couple people and I say, we'll send them on all the, one, all the uh, coverts. You do it too. Don't pretend you don't. All right. Back to the bridge. Okay. What's on the docket next? That power coil. There we go. That's the good stuff. Shadow chamber's going in here. Only cost 63. Shadow chamber construction initiated. Heck yeah. All right. With that going on, that's seven days away. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can have ourselves a pretty good week while we wait. Next up. Our research was cybernetics. Commander. I was wondering if something was going to happen or not. It didn't. Okay, now we can go to the proving ground and make all of this cybernetic stuff, which is great. Uh, we should be able to do elective surgery for some of these now. So lots of things. Cybernetic muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, weak point analyzer mark one. Neural gun link. Nano coated torso mark one. Neat nano machine, son. Cybernetic jump module, cybernetic grapple module, cyber claw module, cybernetic leg module, cybernetic mo arms module, cybernetic torso module, cybernetic head module, hollow planner construction. That's not a cybernetic. Uh, nice. So if we do this, uh, we can upgrade the hollow planner for half off. We'll I'll do see it. That work begins immediately, Commander. I appreciate it. I'll All contact right. you when I have a full report available. Actually, did get a. Volunteer out there in the Discord channel for uh, potentially getting some of these augmentations. I don't know if are we allowed to give it to them now? 
Can we give him eyeballs? I mean, better eyeballs, theoretically. I don't know. What do these do for you? Um, it's enhanced targeting against flank targets. I don't know about that. Torso. Free vest slot and extra health. See, that could be good. I can see where that'd be useful. Um, arms. You can punch. Yes, that'd be cool. Legs. You can kick. And mobility. You know what? Actually, plus two mobility would be a good thing. There we go. Look at them fancy legs. Hell, give him the fancy arms, too. Um, four to six damage. He can punch good now. Look at that. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to keep going. <laughs> not yet. Um, they have holes in them, which is a little concerning. But all in all, I think it'll be nice. He still has 70 willpower. So he's still good to go for the most part. I think having that two will or that two movements actually going to be way bigger for him than you would think. But we'll see how it works out. Okay. He's going to run farther. He's going to jump harder. And he's going to blow some dudes to kingdom come. Eventually. Is that another facility? A new one? Commander, By Jove, I think it is. Still moving forward on the Avatar project. Okay. Okay. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. All right. Well, we do want to blow them. Don't quote me. Bolt caster's done. Hell yeah. Uh, seemingly archaic weaponry. It's a gigantic bolt that you throw in their face. Uh, we'll need more supplies, which we're about to get. Hmm. But first, more Avatar project. Commander, Boy, I just completely undid my sabotage We're going to slow them in like down. no we time. To move fast. All right, but more importantly, not that that wasn't the more important part. Uh, oh, of course, they half my supply drop right before the supply That's drop. You son of a gun. You, now, Commander. you, you genuine bastards. We still get 124, which is not a lot, the past but good lord. I hope that your ongoing efforts you know what? Only lead to further success. You know what? You're going to get the business for that. Uh, we're lowering our income or trying to sabotage the Avenger. Will not be concealed to start of missions. We want to get rid of high alert. Uh, when Chosen gains information about XCOM, a portion is passed along to the assassin as well. That's not a big deal. We can pay for this. Avenger watch. Okay. That one's not the biggest of deal. All right. Damn, we have nothing new here? Huh. Well, shoot. Yeah, I don't see anything I want to switch up right now. So hopefully we get another one of uh, these ones for at least the Reaper, but no, not yet. I mean, I get it. We haven't done much for it. All right, so we got our 119 supplies right away, which is nice. No one get it twisted. Um, no, don't, don't leave. Actually, the black market is almost done. But let's let's stay here. Commander, the aliens have made significant progress. Another facility. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Jesus. Our soldiers took some hits. Two Illyrium cores. It's not the most amazing Word thing in the world, but nice. Okay. New missions available. Okay, Raider, Raider HQ, reduce project. Yes, do this. Let's just get this done real quick. Uh, since we can't send... Um, since we can't send Angela, we'll send the two of you instead. Get this knocked back down, please. Okay, thank you. That was nuts, man. All right. Proving Grounds Frost Bomb is done. What else is in the... Proving ground. Nothing. So we need to head there. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Stands, Don't worry. We have people still waiting for an assignment. Let's see. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Could build more bolt casters. That's an option. Not one I want. At least not right now. Mechanized assassins. Aha! The modules they actually do things. Yeah. Cybernetic muscles? Uh-huh. Overall, greater strength without much impact on their ability to infiltrate Advent-dominated society. Grapple modules, jump modules, nano-coated torsos, uh, the gun link. How all these cost 50, though? It's a little more than I'd want to pay right now. I think what I want is more ammo, since I can give ammo away now. More effectively. I don't want to retrofit anything. I feel like that's all just not good that's ideas. So, I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Yeah, give me one of those, and then get me a give me that grapple module. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. 
keeping the proving ground going. All right. Come on, Reynold. A flamethrower. All right, not the most impressive uh, heavy weapon we could have found, but that's okay. I want to go to the black market. It should have new stuff available, and we have 200 intel, so we have enough to buy some supplies. Market is open. What's up? Hello, market. Chrysalid hive drone autopsy, faceless autopsy, chosen hunter info. A soldier. Here we go. Give me 133 supplies. Advanced focus and auto loader. Eh, nothing great there. How about selling? You know, more supplies. Advanced alloy blade. You know what? They'll pay extra for this right now. And for the data pads. I'll sell you one of those too. That's a lot of supplies all of a sudden. Which I like to see. I like to see. Actually, we have a lot of data caches. Go ahead and give it a two more. Yeah. I think that's good for right this second. Confirm that. Okay, we now have 500 supplies. Commander. Shen. Let's go ahead and upgrade some things, shall we? Um, I could also get canisters, but I don't feel like that's necessary right now. Uh, we'll go upgrade the magnetic hunter rifle. I'm curious as to how good it performs in battle. Uh, the hand cannon, that's an upgraded sawed-off shotgun. That could actually be useful in the future. Mm, we don't need to upgrade the nemesis rocket launcher because nobody uses it. Vibro blade, I don't think we have anyone using this either, but it's pretty cheap to upgrade, so I'm going to do it for that. Uh, let's hold off on any of those other ones. Battle scanners, no. Blue screen rounds, oh yeah, that's right, I can just buy these. Give me one of these at least. Okay. Alright, alright. Stun grenades, magnetic grenades, a lot of grenade types we got in here. A ripper grenade? Oh, yeah, these are the ones that come from the chrysalid rippers. I mean, they're interesting. I don't think I care for them, but they're interesting. Sustaining spheres. I don't remember any of these grenades. We could. Ooh, we can we can buy more venom rounds too. Okay, that's cool. I guess that's what we get after we research them. Now we can just make them in there. Let's see. But these other types of grenades, we should build some. Let's get an Asimov grenade, another one, because these would be great for Hans. Probably. Mm, maybe not the proximity mine. Although I could see that being useful. Build the ripper grenade. Yeah, let's just do it. Not the smoke grenade, though. I don't think we need that. Okay. Back to the bridge. To see what's going on. Oh, a facility lead. New course. Well, that's something we could definitely use. Okay, show me where the rest of these facilities are, please. Okay, rain all will be done in a day. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Okay, the hollow planner is now half off. Next up, uh, hmm. Everything is going to take a while here. Let's do the Muton Legionnaire. Oh, no, do the regular Muton first. Central Officer Bradford yeah. has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. Ooh, I wonder why they make it As smaller. It is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse. Mm -hmm. I must say, it is quite disconcerting. I would think so, yes. The Chosen, known as the Assassin, seems to mirror the traits of the nobler ah. warrior archetypes we know throughout our own history. How does it? Having witnessed, and more importantly, heard the unusual commentary delivered by this Assassin, I cannot help but wonder the source of these unique personality traits. Yeah. Um, well, we can afford to upgrade this. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Hollow Planner. Cool. We already have forces deployed on a covert action command. Oh, I know, we I know. We won't be able to initiate another operation yep. until the current one is complete. Yes, that's for the orders up here? Yes, up here. Which, we can't plug them in yet. We have to wait till our next supply drop. But we'll have a third one available, which is great. Okay. Now, can I have my officer training done? Thank you. All right, now he knows the Falade. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, anyway, he, everyone near him gets defense, which is great. Let's continue training. Uh, we could train more officer abilities. We could train someone else as an officer. Uh, Vizilla's tired for a little bit, but we could still put her in there for training. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have her do something else while she is her current rank of officer. And I'm not going to train another officer right now. I don't think that's a good idea. 
at least not yet. Wingus McDingus is almost done with his training. Let's see if we can let him wrap up too. Oh, good. Eight hacking and 15 ability points. That's it? That's sad. All right. Let's train... Let's train Marina, since she tends to almost die all the time. Maybe we could do something about that. Uh, give her some defense training. Okay, it's gonna take seven days. And of course, in that time, she's gonna forget which weapons she's supposed to use, because of video games. Uh, we'll fix that real quick. It only takes a minute, right? I mean, who else is using the energy katana and energy wakasaji? No one, that's who. All right, although... There are other weapons that are available as of now, but you know, this is good. These two are still pretty darn good. Let's give her the Hellweave. Since we have an extra one now. Ceramic plating. Oh yeah, we have that ammo spot available now too, which is nice. And I, we don't need to give her a gun. Ain't that just the thing? We could give her a Claymore. Actually, she'd be a good uh, candidate for the proximity mine too. Maybe I should do that. Not right now, of course, but later. Oh yeah, and also warrior suit. You have your own special armor. Which actually takes away one of your uh, ability, one of your items, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay. We're ready. We are ready to rock and roll in new Australia. Remember, we already have advantageous terrain, advantageous cover. We had an extra move for the whole mission. That's nuts, man. Setting course. For the Australian sector. Let's go kick their butts. If and we can. There's a chance we can't. Which one is this? Is this the C4 mission? I think it is. Remind me. Sabotage the facility. Yes, it is. Okay. So, let's get the team together, shall we? Um, Croc, Sin, I'm going to let you sit this one out, I think. Uh, is Reynold here? Reynold is here, yes. But he needs his equipment re-equipped because video games. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that a lot. Get used to it. <laughs> it's always the video game's fault, man. Always. Don't you know this? Alright. Give him his, uh, hard light weapon back. Uh-huh. I mean, I could give him another sword at this point. He's gonna have his same shield, though, that's for sure. I mean, there are other swords to give him, potentially. This would give him mobility, and it does look awesome, I gotta admit. High frequency blade also looks awesome, but I mean, I don't know, man. And then there's a lot of stuff that can't be used with shields. I mean, the ball caster is available now. It's not that great. The axe would almost be better than that, but it doesn't do enough damage, although we could upgrade it at this point. I don't know if it would do enough damage then, but I kind of want to give the axe to Croc. All right, you don't need the hell weave armor. I love giving it to mostly everyone, but you have four utility slots. What the hell? <laughs> um, but you don't need it. So instead, you're going to take a gun. Let's see. I could give you a rail pistol. But no, I'm going to give you one of these, obviously. Um, I mean, I could give you more mobility. The Wesker model is just raw-ass damage. Let's go ahead and go with the uh, the jail model for more mobility. I feel like it's just a good idea. You know? And then a grenade, just in case we need it. Oh, right. And then, um, he has more. Son of a gun. And then a hard light sword on top of that? No. Um, you know what? He's a good candidate for the Skulljack. Give him the Skulljack. Because he can go up there and he can just... Slap someone in melee and ain't gonna do a damn thing to him. I mean, especially not with all this. Rocket launcher or flamethrower? I gotta go with a rocket launcher, man. Okay, it's so good. We have this as far as the sim goes. Dodge? No, I don't think on, on Reynold. Let's see. Yeah, give him the superior Illyrium coating. Make it better. Why not? Upgrade is, yeah, upgrade is rocket launcher. Okay. Make it launch rockets better. Get any extra stats? No, it's one point. Stop yelling at me about his points. Okay. So, Reynold is ready to go. Parrish, with his new with his new arms and legs, I think he's ready to go as well. Elena? 
I don't think I'm going to take you to this particular mission. Why? Because I think we're going fairly loud in this mission. So instead, let's take Wingus, who also needs to be kitted out, of course. We did give him a gun and his gremlin, but he still needs other things. So, ceramic plating, because of course. You know what? Let's give him... Give him one of these Asimov grenades. Okay. I think he'll be good with that. I don't think I'm going to give him one of these suits, though. He should have some additional AP, but he only has 15, so we'll save it. Don't worry, we'll use it at some point. Okay. We're taking Wingus. We should take Rathburger, which I believe he's already here. I was going to take Silvermane. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, and you know what? What the heck? Let's go all in on our bots here. Bring Hans, too. Look at all these major guns. Uh, Hans, let's actually take a quick look at your grenade loadout here. You have Acid Grenade. That's great. Now you also have the Asimov Grenade. And what about the Ripper? Three damage, three armor pierce? All right, sure. Well, why not? Yeah, I don't think I want to give him either of those rounds. I think there are people who could use them, but this is good. I like this team. This team is going to hopefully wreck them. Off we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go take out our first facility. Remember, though, this is Operation Destruction Man, and we don't know what the Destruction Man is going to come out and look like. But it might be one of our toughest fights yet. Or it might just be one of the chosen. I don't know. I mean, this is the Hunter's Turf. And as much as I love his smack talk, he ain't got much in the way of, um, you know, walking the walk. Just saying. He can take a few shots on Hans, but he hasn't really been able to do any permanent damage yet. I suppose not for the lack of trying. I do feel like I get more close calls when I fight the assassin, which is kind of interesting. I feel like I do, like, legitimately get a lot of close call situations with the assassin where she knocks you down, tries to kidnap you, all that good stuff, and she's really good at it because she's good at being sneaky-deaky. Uh, Hunter, rarely feel like we get close calls. The Warlock, I feel like, puts up the best slugfest-type fight. Usually. Mainly because we he just summons dudes. On the of a but, which is ironic, because he stays in the back, usually. In, this region. in my experience. Alright, let's get all tactical. Alright, you heard Central Lads. Let's go blow up a thing. Let's go set this avatar project back to the stone age I mean it'll lock off one or two blocks but you know all right we have made it but barely <laughs> okay move to designated position and place the x4 charges you had me worried there game I await the moment to strike. very worried okay well you know, I just... I took Elena off the mission, and she was, like, our best source of defense. No, nah, our best source of scouting, I should say. Quick observation. Immediately gain one point of data. Free action. We use one time in a mission. Okay. Command. Patch up. Going dark. Pay 10 intel. For the rest of the mission, all squad members can, can pass through detection lampposts without breaking concealment. That's neat. Uh, Oscar Mike. Target all non-robotic allies within nine tiles around the soldier. All allies get in range. Get five mobility for one turn. Has three turn cooldown. Cost one action point, two data points, and is not turn ending. So, basically, Reynold can do like four million things. <laughs> Including the siphon matrix thing. Prepare your shield for killing blow. Later. Let's go. Confirmed. I mean, you might be the... Oh, yeah, we get an extra movement point, too. This is ridiculous. 
I'm saying this is ridiculous, and I usually love it when the game is biased in my favor. <laughs> uh, go ahead and go into Overwatch. Okay. So, Romain, your goal is to be a punchy boy, really, but uh, come over here. Yes, which is ironic given your gigantic weapon, I know. But don't you worry about that. Okay. Hans, you could be a boy who does more than just the punchy. You could do the shooty. Um, so you get over here too. Eh, come over. Come over this way. Step up, Guardian. You step up. Parish. Get up the Boy. stairs, okay? It's easily where I want you. He's gonna do beautiful things up there. Uh, probably. Uh, Rathburger. Honestly, it would be nice for you to have the elevation too, but instead, come over here with Silverman. Wingus, kind of the same thing. Actually, yeah, come, come up here and hang out with, uh, hang up with Parrish for a second. And Dismas, you stick with the team over here. Leg worker. All right. Just a little bit of it. Just while we're getting into position. It's time for my afternoon candy bar. Excuse you? You would bring one. All right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, and they all get deep cover thanks to hunker down. He, they get to automatically... Other way around. They get to automatically hunker down thanks to deep cover. Jeez. This is nuts. There's a Naha over there. What? Hello, GOC. So, like, so they are near the target position is what that actually means. Gotcha. Hans, scout forward. Right, this is GOC. I found them. Yep. That is a global occult coalition if I've ever, ever seen them. Uh, do we need to bother with them? Not really. Get moving. Let's let's ignore them and see if they attack us. And if they do, well then they're going to get come. They're gonna get a nasty face. bunch of business. <laughs> but we will ignore them until we have to fight them. And then we will fight them. And then they will die probably simultaneously. Should be easy. Should be. All right. Did you head over here? This is actually a really nice spot if we had a sniper. We don't, but if we did. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Wingus. Actually, let's have you head up this way. Yeah. I don't think you'll have moves after that. That's okay. So, I need you to get over here and get ready to do the punchy. Reynold, I need you to get up here get ready to do the slashy. And Parish, I kind of want you to get over here to do the blammy. We'll see if that works. All right. I believe this. Oh, hello. Fallen created a viper king. Ha 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 ha. Just what we needed. Yes. Okay. So the Viper King is on the on the battlefield. Don't go into close range mode yet. Okay. Give me some overwatches. See what happens. Yeah, good point. Yeah, keep your deep cover. Okay, you're all in a great spot. There's the bio boys. Mm, they're getting close, but we haven't taken a shot yet. Come the other bio boys. A lot of bios here. Well, there we go. That means the fight's begun. And it's begun with a couple of bangs. Damn, Hans. Dang. Oh, yes. Dream Team over here the just tearing people up. Okay, they're about to freak out. Which means Wingus is going to take a shot right in the ass. Gross. <laughs> You're the one who shot him in the ass. And the GOC is alive too. They can hit hard. On my way. Especially this peacekeeper with the five to seven damage. So they're worth uh, another shot in the ass and a stun. Nicely done, Reynold. That uh, Overwatch stun is actually incredibly powerful because it basically interrupts their move. It shuts them down immediately. The Viper King sees us. And he's immediately taking a shot with that bolt caster. Over his head. All right. Ah, you fight like a girl. <laughs> I mean, I guess saying Let's that's the, to the one to the one viper who's actually like the king 
That's kind of insulting to him. You know, most of them are... Uh, is it? I don't know. Excuse you? Oh, GOC, you are making a, a mistake. They're just return firing at each other at this point. <laughs> Praise the Emperor. Oh, hello! Found some inside. All right. That didn't, that didn't hurt him much. You might want to try that again. Yeah, wow, your gun is not doing great. Okay, the infantry can't do much. That's a sniper. Ooh, I didn't realize they had a sniper. Sniper's got a gun. That gun can't do much. They're doing really good at this one damage thing, aren't they? Anyone else find it kind of hilarious that there's anyone in this universe that is wearing a UN helmet with pride? Um, ooh, how's that different from our own universe? Okay, buddy. I get it. All right. Um, I kind of want to just fire a rocket at this dude. You know what I mean? Just want to, just want to, just want to blow him up. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Yeah. Parish is gonna do parish things as he do. Beautiful. You didn't need that armor. Okay. They are rulers, so they get to react to basically anything. Oh. Eighty-four percent. Good lord, that was amazing. All right, Wingus. Let's have you move. Uh, well, you can't see anyone from here. What do you got? Illusion protocol. You know what? Illusion protocol. That would be amazing. So, you tell you what. Where can we get to that's behind cover? Basically nowhere. So, come oh, this I way. Know. Yeah. So come over here. And give him the old illusion. Oh, look at this guy. Wait, what? Why, am I, why do I see up here? I don't know. Oh, look at that illusion, man. He's going to kick your asses. You guys better run. Uh, um. The Wingus, the gremlin's leaving. Did, did you tell me to go? Is he going to go pick you up a sandwich? What's this, what's going on here? All right. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Move up, Dismas. See what we got here. We got some lightning hands. That's a waste of a lightning hand. Do it on this guy. Nice. Oh, you got him. Stop complaining. Don't slash. That's a waste of everything. Go ahead and get going to Overwatch. Okay. His Overwatch is pretty darn good. Last I remember. Okay, Rathburger, where can we get you? Can we get you somewhere where you can shoot anyone? Not really. All right, now we can't. Oh, hey, there's a turret up there. Hello, turret up there. How you doing? Well, let's make it a was turret up there. 80% of the time, this works every time. Right through the tree. Let's go. Beautiful. As I said, there, there was a turret up there. All right, that gives Rathburger a free move because he's Rathburger. All right, pistol shot has better accuracy. Right between the eyes. You see that? Yeah, that's right. Talk trash. Run up here, Hans. Okay. Move in and take those zones. Hmm, am I worried about these life. guys? They do see us now. Okay, go ahead and overdrive. Yeah, remember, with overdrive, nothing technically forces you to end the turn. So, now we can fire whatever we want. Harms enemy robots, disables weapons of all enemies in the area. We'll disable your weapons, let's find out together. There's an Asimov! It said immune to something else, but weapons were disabled, which is why I'm assuming he has to move. Dismas taking uh, multiple shots. I don't know how much damage he did, but he's almost at half health, which is pretty good considering he has 42 health. Uh, we could go full auto fire. Acid grenade is not going to be useful against him, I imagine. Hold the phone. Okay. What you got? Power up. We don't need an additional shot. 70% here. You have a rocket launcher, of course. You also have fist. And I do like the power of fist. Especially if we go into close range mode. Go into close range mode. Okay. We still have the power of fist. But we can also get the power of moving closer. Dude, look, look how many shots he has in his gun. Imagine going full auto fire with this thing. Actually, still says only 12 to 15. 
feel like that should be more. Power shot is 7 to 10 damage. It's not enough. Um, go ahead and overdrive. I'm go I'm trying really hard for this one one turn kill. Okay, full auto fire. 13 damage is not a, a lot. Oh, and he's distracted. The hell was that? Oh, he's Some trying to leave. I cannot begin to fathom why yeah. Dr. Ballin would have allowed it to have this ability. He's trying to make a break hmm. for it. Pick it up before it gets Maybe away. I should have done this one. Instead. Uh, but it's too late for that. You have one attack left. Punch it. Punch it hard. Wavoom! Mm. Right in your face. And then you're gonna run. But honestly, whatever. It escaped. We got some ability points for it. That's fine. Overtime. What's Let's most important it. there is that when we see the Viper you King again, he's a goner. All right, Reynold, what do you got? You got that guy at 79? No, no, no. You gave a 79. My ass. Uh, light oh, we have Lightning Slash available. Go ahead and use that. Oh, oh, the crit. The Hello, Vipers. The How you doing? Oh, there's a sectoid over there. Too. Hello, sectoid. How you doing? He did not move, oddly enough. All right, Reynold. I have faith in your ability to hopefully not die. Um, you can't slash the secto. Oh, you technically don't see him. All right. Well, in that case, don't do what I was going to have you do. <laughs> Dude, he has flashbangs and smoke grenades. This guy's got everything. But let's go ahead and slash his ass. Get this bio trooper. It gets you in a better position as well, which I think is the most important part here. It's also a 35% chance to crit. Okay, we're hunkering down. Everyone who did not shoot got a chance to hunker down there. Okay, you went after the GOC, which is great for me. Are you also... Yes. Oh, good. That's the one with the most damage, so... That worked in our favor. Thanks. It. Whoop. I love watching the, the snakes jump. That jump is a great animation. That one was less great. For them. Hey, items. Nice. Put okay. your enemies down before they do the same to you. Here comes the bio captain. You gonna grenade? You gonna shoot? You gonna shoot. Okay. Alright. A little bit of damage on the decoy. I forgot who that was for a minute. I was like, oh, wait, who the hell is that? All right, it's on decoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to take damage. That's why he's here. Look at that. that guy's just having a nice sit down. Looks very comfy there. All right, let's get some punching. Where the heck? Okay, I didn't expect you to go that way. I don't think I'm complaining. I'm just surprised. All right. I'm sorry. Did you think the fisting was over? Don't quote me. Um. Wait, we can't see the other one? Oh, we can. He just. You know what? The fisting is over. Now it's rocket time. I shall crush it. Yes, you shall. He did. Okay. Good stuff. I think he. He doesn't have a bit. So he launches it still, but it doesn't actually come from anywhere. It's a little. Ironic, or not ironic, just weird. Uh, grab the item for me. What would you have me do? I would have you grab the item for me. That's why I asked, actually, believe it or not. Lyrium core, data cache, alloy blade, hair trigger. Nice. All right. There's the sectoid. Give him the smite. Come here, tall boy. All right, he's stunned. That's important. Because I was wasn't entirely sure we weren't gonna get we were gonna get the damage. All right, here's the thing, Dismas. I'm gonna have you move over here, and I'm actually gonna have you give Rain all the move. Okay, keep him going, and then keep him a slashing. This should be a good chance at a kill. Yep, that melee vulnerability. All right, come on, Wingus. 
And you have a surprising amount of movement points considering you have a big gun. Okay, move up a little bit more. Who's left? Uh, perish, perish, perish. God got guns. Yeah. What do you said? Oh yeah. The triple G. Okay. So he's right here. So we're gonna fire. We're gonna try to fire a rocket right here. <laughs> Let's see if this works. All right. Use the terrain in our favor. For a fight, we can save her. It did not work. Damn it. Got it. Ah, it barely didn't work either. It was so close to hit to knocking the Viper down. Look at that. Hello. Ooh. All caught by the ablation. Shot him back, though. Nicely done. All right. Reynold, finish him off. Uh, with your sword. Actually, use a siphon matrix. Prepare your shield for the killing blow. Yeah, do that. Okay. And then use shield blip, shield bash. It should be guaranteed. Yo. And that wasn't the shield, but okay. No, nice. Dude. Look how much a blade of armor everybody has now. That's amazing. Within 20 tiles. Jesus. So now everyone has a metric butt ton of armor. I love it. Now, the battle music has not ended yet. So in theory, there are more enemies here. So move up, Parrish. Let's see what else we could find. Come up this way. Hello? Any more turrets or anything up here? Not that we see yet. Silvermane, you go around the side here. Thank you. Tell you what, let's go into long range mode. Okay, reload. Go into Overwatch. See what comes through. Halt. Let's go deeper into the facility. See what we find, if anything. Hello. Anyone home? Certainly not looking like it. Rathburger, do you see anything over here? Because I don't. Wingus, you can go ahead and plant the charges. Okay, I'm sure you're excited. Uh, try that again. Hey, there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. Works for me. Status 1-5, status confirmed. X-4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Okay. Let's get some Overwatch going, and we'll start evacing next turn. You think? I think occasionally. I try not to do it too much. It hurts sometimes. But I hear you. All right. Bringing in some more dudes. We picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Okay. What is the holdup? They found hostile reinforcements inbound in our position. That's the holdup. Okay. Don't worry, we can deal with it. Shall not falter. And by that, I mean deal with it. I want you to fight him. <laughs> we haven't killed enough is what I'm getting at here. Come on, maggot. Mm, get right here, like Wingus. Okay, give me your overwatches. Me. <laughs> let's see what they decide to uh, throw into the neat, no, neat grinder. <laughs> I guess that's what, what Wingus would call it, being an intel and all, but uh, the he's probably he's a neat as well. Or at least he was before XCOM. Roger that. Show your enemy this place belongs to you now. A riot trooper. Hmm? All right. Get him. That was not getting him. That's what I call get. Well done. What is going on with this sectoid? Right up the X. Wow. 52%. Nicely done. Hey, still got to take out this Huntress here. Oh, there's oh, but wait, there's more. Menace one five, be advised, we picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. I I am aware. Okay. Reynold, come over here. Uh, let's start with the lightning slash, and then we'll go with a regular attack. Okay, because lightning slash probably yeah won't get the kill, which is fine because now we can use siphon matrix. 
And then you shield bash. I see. You shield bash. There we go. Boom. And then give everyone four more a blade of armor. Does it actually work that way? Oh my gosh. Holy blade of armor. I, I don't know if it worked on everyone, but it did work on some people who didn't have it last time. Like, I'm pretty sure Silvermane didn't have any last time. So, I'm not complaining. Alright, let's go. Just keep doing it until they stop coming. Or until they drop some more loot. That'd be cool, too. What is that? Hmm, there's a purple guy. Ooh, you a skirmisher? Or a skirmisher type? You're neat looking. I think I fought one of you before. Pathfinder Hunter. The dude has four armor. Wow. Yeah, he actually survived one volley, but not two. <laughs> yeah, get him in the ass. You missed him in the ass. Get that psychic guy, too. Good stuff, Parrish. Didn't kill him, though. Not this time. Oh, wow. That was a lot of high percentages. You have not won, maggots. All right. Psy Sniper. Ooh, fancy. Menace 15. X4 charges are armed. Get to the evac point. We don't have any time to spare. I'm busy. Uh, full auto fire. 5 to 11 damage. Oh, and of course, poison immunities. Uh, this guy just has disabling shot. Huh. I mean, his gun apparently does three to five damage, but I'm not allowed to learn about it for some reason. I don't know what that's about. All right, well, let's start heading towards the exit. They don't have items, right? They do not. That just means they are uh, easy targets for explosions and kills, like Ripper Grenade. Oh my goodness, McGracious, look at the freaking size of that area. Okay, good stuff. Let's see. Yeah, Silvermane. Oh, you have a power shot now, too. Woo! Look at that. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay, but we're heading out. Surely, but slowly. I mean... I don't want to shoot our own lad, so... <laughs> we're not going to do that. Okay, who else... Hmm, Parrish. Did you get a rocket over there? Not really. That's too bad. Be a good candidate for that last shot. Um. We could have you swing down this way. Actually, no, this just takes one move. Coming. Come down here. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's get ready to go. I am needed elsewhere. We've spent a lot of time. Having our funsies. Ah! You just go ahead and go and overwatch there, Wingus. Oh, lightning hands. There you go. 7 to 17 damage, as you do, as you do. Don't worry. I couldn't beat me either. All right. Beautiful. Coming. All right, lads. I'm going to say we've been pretty successful so far. Okay, go ahead and drop your little, uh, your little flare, your little portal. And we're just gonna get ready to leap. Sorry about your truck, though. All right, out we go. Mhm. Mm Apparently silently. I was gonna say <laughs> they were being uh, very quiet there all of a sudden. Yeah. Right. I am too important for this nonsense. All right. Get out. God dang. Woo boy, that was... That was quite the slaughter. And all of our shields are gone. It's probably fine. Okay, one of the lost appears. It says, please help us. And it's a very sad story. Uh... Got two willpower for completing a flawless mission. Got 12 alien alloys. 
Hell yeah, Silvermane with three kills and 48 damage. Getting himself that good old MVP. Perfect accuracy, too. Perfect accuracy for Hans. Nice. Five kills, 43 damage. Three and 27 for Rathburger. Three and 30 for Dismas. Let's see, Wingus, one and nine. Uh, 11 damage for Parrish. And Reynold with five kills, 41 damage. And some decent, but not perfect accuracy. Very nice. Very happy to take out our first facility. Start formally pushing back against the Advent Project. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that Yay. our peacekeepers will stop at nothing, nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. Okay, buddy. You're sweating. You know it. Total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our... Any and all threats. I doubt mm -hmm. we've seen the last of Fallen's little experiment. Silvermane and Wingus. Best day a couple on of our upgrades. Toes, it could show up again at any time. Reynolds a little on the tired side. You got an Illyrium core and a data cache Your out of that. Did a commendable job Reduced by two. The aliens facility, Commander. Hell yeah. Their efforts towards the Avatar project Ooh. will undoubtedly be set back by your incursion. Was Wingus that tired previously? Huh. Twelve days. All right. Sin. You got a promotion, buddy. All right. Blast wave. That's similar to the one that the assassin can use. Which is pretty cool. Dancing Death. Attack the target and nearby foes, and then finish with a critical attack on the primary target. Or route. Activate to intercept all enemy movement within your line of sight and one AP move distance. Wait, all enemy movement within line of sight and one AP move distance? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That means anyone nearby. Yeah, it's same. It's it, I, I'm hearing it right. Uh let's go with I kinda wanna go with route. That sounds awesome, but Dancing Death is more his speed, I think. So, we'll go with Dancing Death. Congrats on your promotion. Have 20 defense. And then have a little bit of extra aim. And then a little bit of extra will. Beautiful. It'll be nice to see him on the next mission, I think. Wingus, I guess we'll give you time to rest. But while you're resting, improve suppression. Your suppression and area suppression also disorient the primary target. That's pretty good. Puppet control. It takes permanent control of an enemy robotic unit. You can only puppet one per mission. Using it will not break concealment if it succeeds. That's awesome. It sends a gremlin to place a target into stasis. Puppet control. Oh, he's got 60 points? Hell, get suppre- Ooh, actually. Containment feels pretty cool, too. Hmm. I don't know now. Permanently increases his hack score on success, successful hacks. I mean, he already kind of does that. We give him suppression with any weapon. Extra aim and crit against targets that are at full health. Increase defense by 30 and dodge by 50 until you move. Mm. Let's go with improved suppression. Eventually, I'm going to want that Havoc one. The suppression now deals guaranteed damage to the primary target. That's pretty darn awesome. Okay, what about stats, buddy? You and your good genes. Uh, let's go ahead and get you... Mm, I guess we'll get three more aim. And then some more willpower. Okay. Wow, he's got knocked down to 26. Yeah, he needed to chill out for a bit. Silvermane. Redundant systems. No longer suffers any stat penalties from reboot. That could be okay. Counter-Strike. Yes, free attacks against anyone who comes close. Yes, that's what I want. We can't even use Bombardment Protocol. We're getting this. What else? We have 34 AP. Layered armor? Make it where they can't destroy more than 40% of his health. Collateral damage. Fire a barrage to a location, destroying cover and doing small amount of damage. I don't want a small amount of damage. Give me layered armor. Okay. Very armored, very layered, very good, most likely. Let's go ahead and see our numbers. The red numbers at the top go down a bit. You gotta love it. All right. Shadow Chamber is almost done, too. Okay, we have two contacts left. Where to? Where to? We have a facility in New Mexico that has two points on it already. Uh, actually, this one has two points on it, too. East Africa. What will it take to get there? Uh, what is our path to East Africa? 
wow, Western Europe has one too. I don't see any path over here to Western Europe very quickly, but I think we'd have to go to New India to get there. Apparently there's like no one, there, there is no Eastern Europe, I guess. We just, we just don't count that apparently, but all right. Huh. We go to New Chile, we can go to uh, New Brazil after that. Pursuit of Knowledge. Ooh, boost laboratory effectiveness. And that could take us to New Mexico. What about over here? Vulture. Enemies drop additional loot. That could be cool. Grab all of Asia to do that. I think, I think we can get to East Africa more quickly. Because I'm pretty sure if we go to New India, that'll probably lead to East Africa. So let's do that. Seven Pay the intel. For the Indian regional zone. Get ready to check it out. Let's see what we can do. All right. Let's get that shadow Attention chamber done. Local Never mind. Contact. Uh, an engineer. Well, 69 intel. I kind of have to do it for that. Extract the VIP from an advent city and avoid the security bots. There are unknown agents, which probably means um, rogue XCOM here. Uh, Advent's experimenting with a new lightweight al armor alloy, so all enemies gain additional armor. Advent forces strong presence, but no reinforcements, and Mach X is here too. Wow. And that popped up right, just right then, right then and there. Commander, I appreciate okay. you recruiting new staff for the Shen, I don't have anywhere but for your staff, engineers to go. People still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on that is a lie. Excavation Come over here and do these. I was wrong. It's not a lie if I'm just incorrect. Anyway, let's think about that mission. Uh, let's see who's available here. Why does it say... Well, oh, so it's tired. Okay. We don't need to bring an officer necessarily. There are plenty of other people we could bring to that mission. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to put a squad together. We'll have to see how it goes. But that is going to be it for this episode of that. Please, XCOM to War of the Chosen. If you enjoyed it, make sure somebody knows. And by giving it a like, you haven't already feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. It'll keep coming on stop till it does. And then it probably will. And then something else will come. And hopefully you'll enjoy that too. Well, thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo.